Hi everyone, welcome back to the Capsule Monster Coliseum Libramod water playthrough. Today we're going to be going after Weevil, but first off we have some shopping to do. Um, Weevil's probably going to be the first major spike in difficulty in this game. Um, as you go from area 1 to 2, um, they at, the difficulty goes up quite a bit, mainly because you can't actually fill out all of the MP that's available to you uh, with, like, five creatures. Um, just because most of the elements in the game don't actually use that much MP at this stage in the game. And all of the stuff that you've leveled doesn't have a... is definitely not that expensive. Although, we're going to have triple Great White. Um, Great White's pretty good on a water symbol uh, because it's only got 50% symbol effect rate. So, the fact that the symbol does almost nothing doesn't matter too much. Also, Penguin Soldier's really good. Um, we'll be evolving in that. But, Needle Worm's excellent. Uh, I have enough MP. I'm just going to pick up the rest of these. Um, I'll probably level a Komotoku um, and go into a Hunter Spider. Uh, it's pretty solid. It's just... Unfortunately, it doesn't scale that well into the super late game. But it is one of the better uh, late game pieces. Definitely need that needle worm. Uh, we'll put in two of them. Just, I mean, let's look at this piece. This piece is competing directly with Man Eater Bug, um, and or Man Eater, not Man Eater Bug. It's effectively a weaker piece. Like it's just straight up a weaker piece in every way. But it gets an evolution, and Maneater doesn't. So that's why uh, we're going to use this one. Its symbol effect rate's also better. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean much for us. I just want to clear out some space in my inventory. Um, yeah, the man eater's honestly not great and definitely doesn't scale well. Um, Sonic made really it's just weaker. This move set is pretty bad. I would rather have this move set over it. Um, and then. Spike Snail is hilariously bad. If there was anything that I would really change, it would be making some of those type of wood creatures there into something more useful. Uh, they're not useful on a wood symbol either, so... I mean, honestly, if you could have access to man -eater bugs, um, you would just play... Uh, five man-eater bugs instead of any of those because man-eater bugs are just stronger and when you use two of them they work to get work better together and their stats are better with lower mp and ap costs Um, I'm not going to bother with a special duel for this person. I don't want basic in, or big insect. It's terrible, so why would I waste my time trying to get it and making this fight even harder than it has to be?
Honestly, as a water symbol, going on the other side first makes a little more sense. But... It doesn't matter too much. The, sem the field effect rates don't matter much yet. I'm going to use two Petite Moths. Um, as you can see, we have 600 AP to work with. Uh, I highly doubt you can even get close to 600 AP with the things that I have. I'm going to put this here um, just for uh, baiting at Gokabor later. These are the two uh, squares that you start with that are on the wood. Conveniently, these petite moths that I want to summon first are uh, good on the plus AP spectrum. Uh, unfortunately, everything else costs a bunch, but what can we do? We're going to end up passing a couple turns anyways and get to the 1000 AP limit anyways. And we won't have enough plus AP to regenerate it every turn, but we'll have enough to sawtooth down a little bit. I'm going to do the summons before the evolutions. Um, well, I'll do two summons first, and then the evolutions. Um, really, I wanted the plus AP and to ensure that I got it. Uh, for evolutions, I believe it costs as much uh, as the AP to use the creature that you're evolving from. We can check that real quick. Yep, it does, because um, I can evolve both of these, and I had like 70 beforehand. Uh, I'm going to speed through this one because we just saw the animation for the last one. Uh, do be careful about uh, Weevil um, looking at his pieces. Um, Gokabors are pretty scary. <laughs> Um, in terms of wood pieces, they're the pretty much your go-to uh, for the mid game and winning the mid game pretty hard, to be honest. Uh, I really should try to build up some AP here. So I did go pretty heavy-handed on my usage of MP when I was selecting creatures at the start. Which should make this a little easier, but... Um, Gokabor's uh, easily blocked uh, as long as you just basically move in front of them. Uh, I want him to hit my symbol here. Um, but I would like him to hit it on, uh, I would like him to move to this square, is what I would like him to do, and then to, or I would like him to move to this square and then be able to hit him on it, um, and do that, um, he can move, if he moves here, he can attack to here. But if I move here, he can't. So if I move like this, um, he can no longer hit me. Um, he will now move all the way to here and then attack my symbol. So I'm going to do that. Um, these are nicely opposing creatures that can't hit each other very well. But I have 340 AP, and I'm 
would like to carry all of that over to next turn. Um, as you can tell, uh, he has quite a bit of damage on that Gokabor. Uh, what I'm going to be building to in this area is getting my Larva Moths up to level 3 now. It's the next goal, and then fighting Mai as soon as I can to make two uh, Great Moth Evolutions. I want to make sure that if he moves back here to attack this, that I can still hit it with this. Um, yeah, that's really close to actually killing. Ah. <sighs> These pieces, or these Gokabors, are pretty much the hardest thing that you're going to have to deal with in this fight. The main goal is to just deal with them, and then you can deal with the rest of it, uh, the rest of his stuff quite easily. Root waters aren't t terribly terrifying. That, however, does hurt quite a bit. Um, if he's not going to do anything with that, uh, I think... Um, what I would like to do is get more experience on my piece, uh, my larva moth. So I'm not going to finish that off with the great white. I'll just take another hit on my symbol, and then I'll end up taking that one at the end of the fight just in case I want a Gokabor with 30 experience on it. Or it might even be more than 30 experience, since my symbol is level 2. Yeah, it's 30 experience. Ah, uh, the Gokabor is level 2 also. to move this back and just try to protect it a little. These root waters shouldn't be too hard to kill uh, since they're only gaining attack instead of attack and health, or attack and defense, but we will see. Um, I will try to bait this larva moth with my symbol. since it shouldn't hit nearly as hard as the Gokabors. Um, and this setup here would pretty well work almost identical if you got the special duel. Um, I would like him to move there. Going to move here, here, uh, 
I'll let him hit me once um, with that. It's not terribly much I can do about it. I'll move that there. Um, hopefully he moves the other one up right behind it. Um, and then maybe I can... Uh, maybe I can do this. Um, my goal is to get a hit in with the hunter spider, so, or the Komotoko, so that maybe I can finish them all off quicker. Well, he just moved that into no man's land, which is good. Yes, I get it. The water is actually coming up. this convenient tree in the way here. This is the one that uh, already got experience on it. I would love to kill this with the spider, but refuses to let me do that, so I will just take the experience to get a level 2 shark. And this is by far the going to be the hardest fight in all of area two so once we're through this we should have much less issues because next up is mako and he'll give us some more stuff to use i i don't know where this root water is going to go but I'm going to just make sure that um, I get this with this one that got the experience last time. So I can focus as much experience on it as I can. I don't know where he's going. Uh, if I move here, um, we kind of want to do this. Um, this will force him to move here, um, and attack me, and then I can finish it off with the spider. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to say I don't like Great White's, what, Great White's move set very much, but when it's your only option, uh, you take what you can get. That's the same move set as Galengal. It's not a bad move set. I would just prefer to have two of them, um, preferably like one square apart diagonally, um, so that they can cover most of each other's weaknesses. If not, side to side orthogonally is also pretty nice. Weevil is definitely a painful person if you want to go chase down their symbol, so you can if you want the experience, but I don't 
think it's that necessary. Well, I'm going to definitely take this larva moth um, and then whichever of these two got the most experience. Um, this level three root water is always uh, an option for waters, but I already have two level three root waters, so I don't think I need it. I would just prefer the larva moth so that maybe I can end up making four great moths. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day, everyone.